still aboard Megan's ship? Feels odd. this place? Where am I? I can feel something moving closer. Watching. Empress Emily Caldwin. I'm a friend of your father's from the bad old days. expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a killer in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But Delilah and the Duke are flies in the ointment, aren't they? How many of your own subjects are you ready to slaughter? And what are you willing to become? Fifteen years ago, I asked Corvo that last question. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn, Emily. It burns from the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of something. Stories, they're true. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. What is that? It feels familiar. I know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself, it's good to know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. 
my gift, and my curse. Summon me to your hand, and I will guide you when I can. Is Delilah really? How could she? I don't understand. I will never walk in the sun again. I know it now. The one who took my life walks the world still. But he has withdrawn. Such a short time ago, I was a girl. Then a young woman. In love, then an empress. Now what am I? Am I the last day I saw you, out behind the tower. Lessons from your father, coursing through your head, and lessons from your mother as well. slid man's throat for a pair of shoes and painted some of the most brilliant portraits of the age all in the same year. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, and now she's an empress. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. When I was ten years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is more off-kilter than I imagined. Everything has been turned inside out. But I'm not going to stop fighting until it makes sense again. Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire. Once proud, but fallen into disarray. Under the new Duke, the Grand Sirkonan Guard has gotten increasingly oppressive. Beatings and firing squads. The Bloodflies are said to be worse than ever. This is the birthplace of my father. Megan Foster keeps to herself, like she's hiding something. But she helped me escape Dunwall, and for now, I need a place to stay out of sight. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the Crown Killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine. And I'm going to get it back, even if I have to burn this city to the ground.
The jewel of the south, my father's birthplace. Okay. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. The Duke couldn't have pulled off the coup without someone inside the City Watch. Karnaka looks pretty lost in the distance. She was the only ship captain and the blood flies are bad this year. Always tinkering. Painting or living life with gusto.
That's Sokolov. Dearest Emily, or must I say, your Imperial Majesty, I have something that you and Corvo must...
You've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka, but he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising, corruption, street violence. I didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. <sighs> the new duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set out for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer, all right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. There are a few black market shops scattered across the city. Brisk trades in bullets and knives these days. Years ago, years ago, the two, two were inseparable. There was, was no food, but there was love. Those brief, brief days on the street with her childhood friend. The happiest time she's known. Tensions are high in Karnaka. Things are falling apart and the Grand Guard is roughing up strangers on sight. Avoid them. Pagan, she can be trusted to a point. But I cannot see past the anger. That much rage can hide things. for me to drop you at the docks. Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. Security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Circono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. Having more fun here than we were in Dunwall, it seems. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I'll keep my head. This is a good spot. Reach Ademire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The Alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Ademire. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. my last coin. It's gonna be Brian Hagfish again. Welcome to Karnaka, stranger. No need to cover your face. There's not much dust from the mines down here at the docks. 
is not the most caring of souls. But when he took that orphan and boy off the streets, now the lad calls him father. That's Adermeyer in the distance. Maybe one of the uh, recent importers from more. Uh, let's give it a day or two. If she's still there, I can. Don't know what I, I can ask her friend about the Grand Guard. The way the ocean shimmers. Oh, beautiful. Let's hope the framing's good. I'm seeing black spots. Who's running this city? He was dark to sudden ill. He was sent to fetch a cure from the cast. But he didn't make it past the pub. Simple as that. Tastes like shoe leather, but it's better to eat blood flour. Am I right? I only buy meat if I see the animal kill you. Your face is covered. That's a great guy. You won't like that. I miss the days when you looked at dinner plate. <sighs> Never can get used to the heat here or the dust. Might be time to spring so for fish fun. I don't see any signs of feral. Wish I had some Seems to be late. Or maybe we're early. We should be here with the red shark. This is unacceptable. I have a very tight schedule. Don't worry, you'll make it eventually. If not today, then tomorrow. Is that a joke? Santiago fisheries have a reputation to maintain. We have clients all over the aisles. Do I need to remind you that fish is a delicate cargo? We can't afford any delays. Well, it's fermented red shark, which is a nice way of saying it's fish that's already gone bad. You can just tell your clients that here in Karnaka, we like it very fermented. Unacceptable. Farrell is going to pay for this. Hard times under the Duke and his Grand Guard. A man has to be ready for anything. I used to work in the mines. Don't recommend it. The horse was his wife's favorite, but a pretty thing with a fine spirit. He broke its legs just to show her he was to be trifled. Uh. Now we're all on edge. I hope can't take much more of this. Can you imagine being attacked by such a monster out at sea? They're horrible creatures. What did you make on this promise? Say one more word, Maya. I'm finished with this guy. Let's rush it. Ramus, you worm. Sack of shit. Turned on your own people. That's it. You push me. This is your fault. Here? Something wrong? Huh? What? Guards! Someone!
You're not from here, am I right? Welcome to Karnaka, then. I've been out of ice for two weeks now. Customers don't care much for warm lemonade. So many people trying to get away from Karnaka now. But where are you gonna go? There's money here, even if it's dirty. That's worse than usual today, don't you think? Oh. Fellow Sir Conan, in the Duke's absence, I have the following announcement. New restrictions are now in place due to the political assassinations conducted in the name of the former Empress, Emily Caldwin, and carried out by the former Royal Protector, Corvo Otano. The Grand Sir Conan Guard will be stopping and questioning all I don't all feel safe. And new what is wrong with this city? Compliance we'll print is a new poster soon. That usually brings in a few more workers each week. Not long ago, I crewed a flatboat loaded down with this Blue Bloods furniture. Hit a reef, and we watched it all go down. Illegal trade means weapons and ammunition. Don't be greedy, friend. <coughs> uh oh, you're kind, thank you. If you want to get past that wall of light, I've heard people sneaking through this blood fly infested apartment, going through there. We'll get you to the other side of that Grand Guard checkpoint. There's garbage in the streets. And blood flies in half the... Let's hope you never need help. something that might interest you. I promise to make it worth your while. Come on, give me a minute of your time. My name's Mindy Blanchard, and you look like someone who goes into places where you don't belong. Wanna help me with something? You scratch my ass, I'll scratch yours. I need to get to Adermeyer Institute. Can you help me with that? Yeah. I know how to do that. You go get a body for me, and I'll help you with your problem. Don't worry. He's already dead. A body? 
That's odd. From where? The overseers are holding him at their outpost. They think he was a kind of a witch. I want the body for reasons of my own. Sneak in and take it. Then meet me in the old basement below the dentist office near there. I'll think about it. There's a basement nobody uses. It's below the dentist office, on the corner just down from the overseer outpost. Bring the body there. Look for the carriage station where the railway goes into the rock. Meet me at the old basement near there with the corpse. This is Apollo's second in command, Minnie Fletcher. Running in life, she, she was, was someone else. Running in life, she felt like she'd been born into the wrong life. So, she set about making it right. Come in. If you found this place, I'll trade with you. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Happy to do business. I shouldn't deal with strangers. I'm in. Just remember to move slow. too close to the nests we don't even know if the people inside had any money we just know they're dead and the place is infested with blood flies Carl going through there puts us on the other side of the wall of light if you want out of the city as bad as I do this is our chance no more likely we all get stung to death then we end up hatching more blood flies for the next group of idiots who try to get inside Damn it, Carl. All right. We don't hang on each other. We'll find another way to make the coin. And another way to get past the wall.
You can find all sorts of good stuff in bloodfly nests, if you're sneaky and you've got the stomach for it. Bloodflies aren't that hard to avoid if you're careful. Just go slow and avoid the nests. He is lonely, but only because he threw them out onto the street. She's cheating them, one coin at a time, so they don't notice. Build this place, and it is so grand. Well, so grand, it could have been a paradise for all. Sir Conan, in the Duke's absence, I have the following announcement. This year's blood fly concern is the most severe in recent memory. If you encounter a death or an infected corpse, do not disturb it. Any attempt to practice the funeral rites of the Abbey of the Everyman will be punished severely. Contact the Grand Sir Conan Guard at once. The guardsmen on site will handle the situation and determine whether any Fifteen years ago, some part of me remains, but the world seems strange. <clears throat> it's infested, all right. Move slowly. Stay away from the nests and try to avoid getting filled with blood fly venom and eggs.
whatever in your face won't make the Grand Guard happy. You just need to be very quiet. Don't sneeze or anything.
Don't tell anyone I saw you. 